allow me to brief you on the upcoming operation. Libérer le village en prenant tous les corps impériaux. You're cleared for deployment, squaddy. Just do your best and you'll be fine. Operation start. I'm counting on you, everyone. All right, let's do this. Yasha, you protect Ifo with your life. You got that? Hmm. Keep your voice down, or you're liable to bring the entire Imperial Army down on our heads. <laughs> Yasha, Hannah, let's give them a fight. Je sais même plus qu'elle est. Ah, les deux, c'est des mortiers, d'accord. Char d'assaut. Oh, il y a du monde là. Chance of success, 100%. Ah. Let's cover the fundamentals. Là, mieux. Qu'est-ce qui se passe Diva, look out This route is far too dangerous. This way. A grenade. Where are they coming from We need to return fire. Remain calm. I've already calculated the impact location for the next payload. It should land 7.26 meters away from our current position. Huh. All according to my calculations. Luckily, there's not many variables at play. Wow. Yasha, you're amazing. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> well, um, just a matter of physics. It was nothing that impressive. Pourquoi c'est pas lui qui, qui fait les... Pourquoi c'est pas lui le chef et qui fait les stratégies militaires C'est maintenant que tu augmentes ton esquive et ta défense, tout de ma gueule. Faut que je les utilise plus souvent, les mortiers. C'est vrai que c'est quand même pas mal. Shall we begin? Knock 
I'm down. Engaging. Come on, focus. Bring it's it. firing on us. Throw me out. Là, on prie. Là, on prie. Oh. Ah, là, on est mort. À moins que les tirs aient tué tout le monde. Oh. Ah ouais. Ah mais il va tirer non Non il soigne ok Oh il... <rire> Avoir deux comme ça grenadier euh, C'est vrai que ça aide hein. C'est pas mal Ah ah Elle est encore en vie Oh la blague elle est encore en vie C'est énorme. Bon, si je la bouge, par contre, on va crever. Mais... Ok. Ah, il va falloir, <rire> il va falloir faire des tirs délicats. Putain, je vois rien avec les. Ok, on l'a pas touché. On l'a pas touché. Lui il a un plus grand rayon parce qu'il est anti-personnel. Soldat d'élite. Precisely. Non Pourquoi non Parce qu'il la voit. This isn't good. I must have sprained my arm when I shielded Aoife from the blast. Mm. It's getting worse. What are you doing just standing there? You stay like that, your foot's gonna freeze to the ground. Hannah, be quiet. The enemy will find us. Sorry. It just looked so gloomy. I wanted to perk you up a little. Come on, Aoife, just a little more. Don't you give up on me. Yes, I can still keep going. Yasha. 
know your arm hurts, but I need you to hold out just a little longer, okay? Oh, was it that obvious? Don't worry, I won't tell Aoife. You're a man of pride, right? You're more attentive than I thought. And here I assumed you were a tactless simpleton. Yeah, yeah. Less chit chat, more fighting. This is the final push. Let's show them we've got guts. Swan. rester là c'est bon j'ai compris on va rester là <rire> let's determine our chances commencing counter attack follow my lead fire perfectly calculated i see Bon, les deux ils sont plus de. Elle fera un peu lapin. Ce faudrait pas qu'il tue les mortiers. Le temps qui devrait se concentrer sur Anna, on va voir. Tchou Tombé C'est marrant, ils ont tendance à se soigner quand ils se font attaquer par le mortier. Sympa. Je sais pas si c'est normal ou pas. Je me demande comment on augmente. Ouais, merde. Comment on augmente la précision des tirs comme ça chier avec leur lance flamme quand même. Maintenant mes lanciers ils peuvent pas être des... Ils peuvent pas être des tanks. Please confirm the enemy's position. Stop fire! Find the medic. Oh! Hannah, please stay with me. Il a amélioré son moral. grand chose à faire c'est con parce qu'on perd du temps on va pas avoir A l'autre il est en train de ramper dans l'herbe j'aurais dû la replier Tu te fous de ma gueule, on a tout ça en réserve. Putain, j'aurais dû regarder la réserve. Salut Nara, ça va Oh la vache. Ok.
Let's determine our chances. Le foutage de gueule. On a touché en, tout ça en réserve. On devrait même pas avoir tout ça en réserve. Tu veux pas mourir toi Ah là ça se passe mal. C'est bon, l'armée est là. C'est quoi l'objectif Je me rappelle même plus. Toutes les corps ennemis sont capables. Leave it to me. Well, partner, got my back. Et merde, t'es anti. Stop calling me cute. T'es anti personnel, pas anti anti tank. Allez go, on avance et on finit. Qu'est-ce qu'elle est bonne Minerva. Oh, déjà plus personne. Ah si j'avais su qu'on pouvait faire appel à tout le monde. Oh la vache. Il aurait fini en deux tours. J'irai rush le milieu, fais appel à tout le monde et hop c'est bon. I'll get you straight to a medic. Un mortier en cadeau. Headquarters has decorated you with. Oh, bravery. Looks like the mission was a success. I'm glad to see everyone made it back. Oh, do you think Yasha will be all right? I had no idea he was injured. Don't worry about him. If he got wounded protecting you, it's practically a badge of honor. As usual, you're exaggerating. The injuries weren't serious at all. Yasha, are you all right? Otakon. Yes, I've been treated for the worst of it, so I should be fine now. Thank you for helping me back. And Hannah, I suppose I owe you thanks too, don't I? I thought you were just a busybody with a one-track mind. And you definitely proved me wrong. Ooh. You were pretty impressive out there yourself. I guess you're a real man after all. 
And your calculations are actually good for something. Maybe you could teach me a little sometime. Teaching? Huh. Well, you know, I was a mathematics professor before all this. Once I had some time to tutor them, even the worst students earned high marks. So if you teach me, I could be some kind of math -a magician. Well, when that day comes, I'll cook something up just for you. Anything you want. <laughs> Isn't that great, Yasha? Hannah's cooking is the best in the squad. I'm not sure I'd go that far. Her cooking is nutritionally sound, but the taste is average at best. You all seem a lot closer than the last time I saw you. The mission wouldn't have gone so smoothly without you three and your teamwork. Thanks, everyone. Uh, no, no, no. C'est le reste de l'escadron qui a sauvé la. Well then. L'histoire. Now that we can all relax for a bit. Yasha, don't you have something to tell Ifa? <laughs> you don't mean here now? You just made it off a war-torn battlefield together. You're never going to get a better chance. You can do it. Believe in yourself. If you've got guts, you're bound to get the girl. I suppose I don't have a choice. Ifa, uh, do you remember, perhaps, uh, earlier they were talking about a girl for whom I have feelings? Oh, yes. I have to say, I've been very curious. Well, that person is... Someone you know quite well. Really? Oh, I don't well. suppose I could ask who? Oh, uh, it's... You. What? I, um... Uh, well, Ifa, the fact is, I... I'm in love with you. Eh, ben, ça va vite. If you're interested, would you like to go out with me sometime? What? Me? Well, that's... Uh, I, I'm so sorry. Uh-uh. I'm so very sorry. I actually... I actually have a fiancé. Wait, what? Hannah, what's she talking about? You said she was attracted to Yasha, right? I, uh, she was talking about how attractive he is and how she likes smart guys, right? Well, it wasn't just Yasha I was complimenting. Really, everyone in the squad is striking in their own way. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me get something straight. Ifa, do you say this kind of stuff to all the guys? Well, I mean, kind of. C'est pour ça que j'avais dit que c'était la nymphe du groupe. Wow. This unintentional seductress might be one of the scariest girls in the whole squad. I, uh... No amount of calculations could have revealed this. If you say that to all the guys, I guess that explains why they're all over you. Ouais. Seductress? But I never meant it that way. Honestly. No, it's all right. I, I understand now. If the kindness you showed me was some calculated action, I'm sure I would have seen through it. No, I think it was your genuine warmth that I fell for in the first place. Thank you for letting me share my feelings, Aoife. I wish you and your betrothed nothing but happiness. Yasha. Okay, tell you what, I'll make anything you want tonight. You name it, I'll make as much as you can eat. A plat avec du poison, s'il vous plaît. Ah, Anna. You may be a bit simple, but you really do have a good heart. <laughs> I'd rather be simple than complicated. You know what, though? You two might actually be the perfect match. How about you try going out together and see where it goes? Yeah, no. 
zero percent chance by any mathematical formula, known or unknown. Oh. Okay. Let me help with the cooking, Hannah. I'd like to help repay Yasha's kindness if I can. Ifa wants to cook for me? Then do I actually have a chance or no. Ifa, you're gonna mess with the poor guy's head. Ah, uh, well, why don't the three of us have a little party? Yeah. I guess that's how the mathematician's first love story ends. Still, it looks like they're all better friends now. That's a happy enough ending for me. Oh, ça va créer des problèmes. Ça va créer des problèmes, ça. Alors, Anna Ferland soutient Otakon, lien mystérieux et euh... ah, of... amour promis. Alors, vas-y, fais voir un peu ça. Fais voir un peu ça. Okay. On va repartir pour l'histoire principale parce que là, on s'est trop égaré. Euh, auprès d'amis proches, la puissance d'attaque anti-chat, sa défense augmente. Top. Bien mystérieux. Être près de Damier augmente sa puissance d'attaque, sa puissance d'attaque anti-chat et sa défense. Alors moi de la moitié CP, sa puissance d'attaque, attaque en t-shirt, CP, défense en Ce qui est quand c'est qu'on en tue. Ouais, on utilise Anna de temps en temps. Par contre, Riley, on a un meilleur truc anti-personnel, euh, anti-blindage, 1380. C'est britannique qu'on utilise, c'est pas Anna. Ceinture permettant de stabiliser l'équipement, monsieur Brofin. Esquive et défense. La puissance d'attaque augmente dans un camp. Non, on est bon. Euh, on va faire un peu d'entraînement.
Allez, retour à l'histoire principale. Donc elle vient de s'échapper, elle se sentait pas bien et tout à cause de... qu'elle ait pété un câble et on a notre bateau qui est sous l'eau. Tout va bien. The comet was destroyed after Cremaria lost control. The Centurion moved to their aid, but that vessel also caught fire and sank. Investigations are underway, but we're searching in a blizzard. We may not be able to recover the wreckage. I regret to inform you that, at present, both ships are unrecoverable. The mission was a failure. <sighs> I suppose I couldn't have expected the Federation's finest technology to simply fall into my lap. Uh, C'est la faute des autres, hein, des deux. Salut Eric, bienvenue. I can't apologize enough, Doctor. Oh, no need for dramatics. One ship still remains. And I presume you're not so incompetent as to make the same mistake twice? No, sir. And Crimeria? Exhausted. Most likely from the sheer expenditure of energy. She's sleeping in her room. It might be some time before she recovers. The strongest and weakest of the Valkyria, then. They called her defective, you know. Wanted to lock her up. Even though she's inherited such purity. Purer Valkyra blood than any other candidate. But bureaucrats are always so blind to true potential. I was certainly shocked myself. I wouldn't have believed she harbored such destructive power if I hadn't seen it. Descendants of the Valkyra exhibit a reaction to Ragnite that unleashes a raw, explosive force. That azure glow only appears when the Ragnite's full power is being utilized. Like weaponized moonlight. No man-made weapon could ever compare. They truly are miracles of war. Mm. She may exhibit some difficult behavior now, but her performance will improve with appropriate calibration. It is a technician's job to ensure a tool works properly. She's still ultimately a living being. We can't expect a fully controlled... The more you have to fiddle with a machine, the more attached you tend to get. Though even that has its limits. Nicola and Chiara, those two chose poorly. Perhaps a bit of recalibration will set them straight. I'll be counting on you to handle the rest. Oh! And give my regards to Lawrence. We will go and torture him. Yes, Doctor. Ah, il faudrait bien les torturer ces deux folles. Hey there, pretty boy. I appreciate you handling that report. A little birdie told me you used to be with the Edinburgh army. I can no. sort of hear it in your voice, too. But you're not actually from Edinburgh, are you? I'm gonna say... Gallium? <laughs> yep, figured. You Gallians are pretty ballsy. So I gotta wonder why a guy like you would defect. I heard you even sent a spy over to their side. And a femme fatale at that. Am I right? <sighs> to think, a gloomy guy like you seducing the enemy's women. I didn't know you had it in you. That's not it. Oh, come on. Don't be shy. We're both red-blooded men here. She's my sister. Uh-huh. <laughs> my sister was aboard the Centurion. What? My God, man! Why didn't you say something sooner? How are you this calm? If your sister was on that ship, she's dead. <sighs> oh, I get it. I had a feeling. Yes, 
I believe the Centurion has not sunk. My gut told me that too. They're tougher than they look. So did your spy, well, your sister, tell you that? No, I haven't contacted her. But I'm still receiving a signal from her transceiver. She wouldn't take it into battle, so it must be in her room. And if that's working, it means the ship hasn't flooded. The hull may not even be ruptured. So you still don't know if she's safe? God, man. I'm praying for you. Spy no. or not, she's an enemy soldier. You may have been shooting at her on that battlefield. I don't see why you would pray. Well, you know. You and me, we're buddies now. I'm not your buddy. Too bad. We're fighting for each other's lives. Like it or not, I'm the only friend you've got. <laughs> but hey, the Centurion hasn't sunk. I know. Plans are already in motion. Good. Good, good, good. Bon, je suis sûr que, le, comme j'avais dit, le bateau, il doit, il doit faire sous-marin aussi. Ça m'étonnerait qu'un truc aussi avancé soit juste un simple bateau. Riley, you have to keep moving or you'll freeze. I don't care what happened to the Centurion. Where is everyone? Quiet! I can hear something on the radio. Damn it! This blizzard is making it worse. The ship sank, okay? We all saw the witch destroy it. And you're upset about the radio? The sun's going down. We have to find somewhere to wait out the storm or else... No, we have to go help. They're waiting for us to save them. We can't, or the Empire will find us. Claude, what do we do? Ah bah voilà. They haven't sunk. No. What? What does that mean? I get it. This was their plan all along. Uh. They made it look like they sank and hid the ship inside a gap in the ice field. What? Don't the squad he reads you, Centurion. We're moving to rendezvous now. Let's go, everyone. Quoi, c'est pas un sous-marin? At the bottom of a deep crevasse in the crystal sea. Oh. Words can't describe the shock and joy we felt. The centurion buried in ice, but intact. It turns out the winter witch's attack had not been fatal after all. Merely grazing the deck. To avoid further damage. The captain had ordered the crew to make it look like the ship had been sunk. So they brought the ship down into the depths of a nearby crevasse. Mm. The captain's resourceful thinking saved the Centurion. Unfortunately, the witch's attack has disabled the engine. Until it's back up and running, we're stuck in the chasm. All we can do is sit here and freeze. We made it back to the Centurion safe and sound, but it looks like there's only more despair ahead. Mm -hmm. Hey, found some. Got some old wooden boxes in the pantry. No, pourquoi le? Great, Raz. Hurry and bring them over before the fire goes out. Pourquoi le moteur ne marche plus Hold on. Let me just break these bad boys down. Wow. Are those icicles on the ceiling? Must be from our breath. Hot air goes up to the ceiling and stays there till it freezes. I guess it's not much better in here than out there. Might be even colder. We're in a big hunk of metal after all. Whew. Oh, this cold's getting into my bones. At least there's no wind in here. We wouldn't last an hour out in that blizzard. Claude, we're still looking after the wounded. 
but their body temperatures are dropping fast. I'm doing what I can to help them retain heat, but at this rate... Okay, let them stay closer to the fire. Give them as many blankets as we can spare. Hmm. God, dying in battle against the Empire is one thing, but I don't want to freeze to death on a friggin' ship. Hey, Claude, you think this is still gonna count as an honorable soldier's death? It won't have to. I'm not gonna let anyone die here. <laughs> Easy to say. Besides, this is nothing compared to marching in the snow. We're equipped for the cold in here, and we can make fires. So look on the bright side. No more walking. <laughs> yeah, guess you got a point. What do you think, Kai? Starting to wish you'd kick the bucket back at Siegfall, huh? <laughs> no. Hey, hey, Kai! Don't fall asleep here! You'll die! Oh. I'm fine. Just... thinking. I'm gonna head to the bridge for a bit. Keep the fire going for me. We, uh, have some bourbon, but only a little bit. Use it to warm yourselves up if you have to. Bourbon? Why didn't you tell us we got the good shit? Hey, don't drink it all at once, please. You got it. <laughs> Look at him, acting all tough. You see his hand shaking when he passed me the bottle? I don't know. It's kind of helping us stay sane in here. Yeah, maybe. Pourquoi personne va voir ce moteur Oh la vache. Vous allez me rendre fou, moi, dans le jeu. Allez voir ce qui cloche. How's it looking? Any signs of life in there? No. We've already fixed everything we could think of. Figures. Let's not be getting any energy from the main engine. Much we can do. Can't get into the restricted area. Mais qui peut aller du coup? Personne. Come on. Would it really be that bad? <laughs> You'd get court-martialed for one. And no matter how good of an explanation you had, well. Firing squad, huh? So we're talking serious military secrets. Bah ça encore, j'y crois pas. Even if we did crack it open, I don't think we'd know what to do with it. Apparently, it's working on a different design than your usual Ragnite reactor. On top of that, the breakdown fried the backup engine too. Uh, doesn't look good. We could probably bring the backup engine online if we kickstart it with a little power, but... Feeding Ragnite energy to the backup engine? Yeah, Ragnite energy. You're staring. Something I can help you with, or...? Yeah... Yeah, we can make that work! Huh? I don't know, you have all the soins that use the Ragnite. Balance that in the motor. The tank! We'll use the tank's engine! Oh my god... We should be able to use the tank's Ragnite energy to jumpstart the backup engine! You want to use the tank's engine to move the ship? I don't know if... We just need one little spark to get the engine running. Once we've got that, we can handle the rest ourselves. On my pride as a scientist, I swear we're going to get the Centurion out of this. Hmm. C'était tout simple. C'était tout bête. A report just came in from the engine room. They predict they'll be able to bring the backup engine online within the hour. They're certainly working hard. I suppose we'd better leave that to the specialists. We should think about what to expect next. The comet was targeted deliberately. It was a strategic ambush with the intent of capturing the ship. But that means the route of the Cygnus fleet was... Leaked to the enemy. Which could mean a number of things. Either there's a spy or our code's been broken. But the greater mysteries can wait. First, 
We need to decide where to go after we get out of this crevasse. Luf, bring out the map. It's safe to assume the enemy will be surrounding our planned route. We should take a wide detour around our original path and go behind them toward the capital. But that'll drastically increase our travel time. If we don't resupply somewhere... We'll resupply at this lightly defended city. Low... Low volume. But if we want to get there, we'll have to break through the Imperial Sea Fortress. Captain, it's going to be dangerous. I can't imagine a sea route that isn't. Mr. Wallace, any thoughts to share? We might be able to reach the capital that way. It's true. But with the loss of the comet, and with this ship operating on limited power, even if we minimize casualties at the fort, we'll still be at less than half strength. If you're concerned, we might fail to take the capital after those losses, then. <sighs> yes. Mr. Wallace, I can't tell you our chances of success. I don't imagine anyone could. All we know is that someone has to do it. Otherwise, the Empire is already won. And if not us, then who? That is the question. And we answer it by our own choices. Well, enfin, y aller si t'es sûr de mourir, ça sert à rien, quoi. By our own choices. We know the battlefield well, don't we? Our time there is fleeting, dangerous, and uncertain. But that is precisely why we must always move forward. Time and time again, we soldier onward through pain, bloodshed, sacrifice. And when we look back... Toi, faut que tu, tu partes à la retraite, tu dis de la merde. We see all those who stood against us, and those who stood at our side. We make, perhaps it's what you'd call, courage. Ou folie. That's aussi. Or simply, determination. Non, folie. My courage, and my determination. Ah. Captain, we're under attack! The enemy! Sérieux? From where? From above, they're coming down into the crevasse. I suppose we couldn't fool them for long. Captain, Squaddy's ready to move out. Go, hold out until they get the power back online. Yes, sir. Ah, he nous attaque dans le bateau. Ça tue. On se fait attaquer directement dans le bateau, c'est énorme.